Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys how we can set up a quick neon sign title effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So conveniently, in the effects library, there is a 3D title that we can find in the title section of the toolbox. So if you scroll down under Fusion Titles, you can find 3D title neon outlines here and drop it into your timeline. So that's going to give you a pretty good starting place for your neon title. You, you can see that the characters are being expressed solely in the outlines and the glow effect that you would see from a normal neon sign. So if we play it back from the start, it will look something like this initially. So it has a blinking effect as the neon sign turns on. Aside from that, there's a few things I can point out about this default title template. So first off is that there's actually three outlines going on here. So we have the base text, which in this case is this red line here. So you can see text color and the main text controls. We can actually shift that, which will change the middle text color. There's also the front outline text color, which if you scroll down, you can see under front outline controls. That's going to allow you to change the yellow to any color you desire. And then the brownish red in the back can be controlled with the back outline color. If you want to customize your font, you can have any font pretty much get outlined here by selecting your font from the drop down menu. So if I was to change this to something like uh, Babus Noi. So you can see that although the Babus Noi font is not outlined by default, it can pretty much take any solid font. It can pretty much take any solid font and carve out that middle section so that you only have the outline, which is how a neon sign would look. Now, you may also note that the default title template has this text slanted. So if we go down to the bottom of the inspector, you'll see text placement. There is a value for XYZ rotation. So if you want it to face the camera directly, then you want to change the Y rotation to zero, which will let you view the 3D text from this perspective. Of course, if you want, you can use the XYZ rotation to basically have it angled towards the camera in any manner you want. So there's a minor issue with this title now, which is that although it's blinking on, you would normally have a sound effect associated with that, but the default title templates don't have that. So luckily, if you go on sites like freesound.org, it's pretty easy to find a good neon light up sound effect. So I'm going to be sharing this one particularly in the description of the video, so Neon Light 03. It's Creative Commons license, so you do have to give attribution to it if you use it. But I already have this sound loaded up into the project. So from the media pool, I'm going to drag that onto the audio track one here. And now we can play back the title with the sound effect added on. So I think that the sound effect works really well out of the box. There's just one issue, which is that it is a little bit too short. So if your title is going to be a full five seconds or longer, like it would be by default, then what we can actually do is take this end part and just loop it a few times in order to keep the humming background noise in the title. So it's this sound that I'm talking about right here. So to do that, what we can do is hit B to enter Razor Blade Edit Mode. Uh, click on the audio track in order to split it into two. And then we can take this part right here, which just background noise, and have that loop a few times. So with the first part selected, I'm going to hit Control C to copy it. Go to the end of that sound and then hit Control V to paste it in and do that a couple more times. And then that'll be a quick way of extending the background noise till the title ends. So now it will sound more like this. So I found that that works pretty well. Now we might want to take this title and apply it to a video clip. So I'm going to take the title from video track one and move that to video track two to make room for the background footage. And I'm going to take all this audio and drag it down to audio track two. So now we can bring in a video clip here. So just some stock footage here from video pixels. And the title can lay on top of that for something like a movie opening. So we do have one issue here, which is that the neon sign doesn't quite stand out enough against the background because the background is also very vivid in those same kind of colors, reds and oranges. So what you could do with the background video clip is to lower the opacity down so that it mixes with the default black background. So the lower the opacity is, the more of that background video is just see through, which means that the black color is going to come through. And that's going to make the bright colors of the neon sign stick out a lot more. So that's a really easy trick you can do if you need a title to stand out more. So now if we go to the first frame here, we're going to probably want to add in a quick fade in effect for this clip. It doesn't really make sense to start the video with everything already faded in. The neon outline title has its own animation for entering the video, so we don't need to do anything there. Just make sure that for the background video, 
click on the top left corner here where you get this little white nap, where you get this little white notch and drag it over to the right. And that'll create a fade in effect for the duration you pull that notch over. So now if we play it back, we're going to have the title edit it a little bit to fit our needs better. We're also going to have the background footage at half opacity, making it not stand out so much against the title. And we're going to have a sound effect which matches the neon sign animation pretty well. So let's go ahead and play it back. So the only thing we really need to do next is to give it some text. So I am going to take the style text in the inspector here. I'm going to say in all caps here, and I will say quick neon title. Now these are a little close together, so I'll also increase the spacing to make the top and the bottom separate from the center a little bit. And maybe lower the size of the text down just a tad. So it should be really easy to make quick little adjustments like that in the inspector with all of the controls that have been exposed from the fusion title effect. So let's go ahead and play it back. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.